in my mind, I think one of the best parts about it is the fact that it integrates your data collection very quickly with data visualization. The fact that on screen you can see the data point that you collect the information from, you can see the surface, you can see the pole on the surface, and then you can also quickly see a quick stereo net. The other thing also is that it's not just taking one data point, it's collecting a number of points from that surface, and so it's also giving you an idea of roughness. Roughness is a very important characteristic. Rather than taking uh, information, collecting information using a compass and then trying to transcribe the information from that compass into some sort of data collection tool, whether it be a smartphone or a, an app you've got or something, you're actually collect, collecting the data with the same tool that you're processing the information with. So you're taking steps out of what are normally the routine operations that would be carried out in the mining environment, each and every one of which gives you an opportunity to add error. So I think you're really controlling errors by a long way. The other real key that I thought was the most remarkable part is the fact that during the time of its capturing the data, uh, you're trying to hold it steady on that surface. Um, it is mapping that surface within the area you choose to collect data, but it's producing information which is much, much, much more valuable than any other method that I've come across. Because